Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm gonna unbox and test out Elgato's newest external capture card, the HD60S Plus. If you don't already know, the HD60S Plus is the replacement model of the HD60S, which has been around for quite some time now. Like every new model, this one also brings some new features. It can record in 1080p at 60fps in HDR while having a pass-through resolution of 4K at 60fps, so you won't sacrifice any video output quality like you did with the previous model. One thing to note, the HDR recording feature is currently only available for Windows 10. With the specs out of the way, let's begin with the unboxing. So inside the box we have the Elgato HD60S Plus itself, and I must say I like the small form factor. It fits perfectly into my hand and it's also pretty lightweight. As for ports, it has an HDMI port right over here. This is where you'd plug in the HDMI cable or the device you want to record, like your console for example. As well as an HDMI out port on the other side. This is where you would connect your monitor or TV to in order to actually see what you're playing. And with this model, as I mentioned earlier, the pass-through resolution is 4K at 60fps. There's also a USB Type-C port right over here, as well as a headphone jack. Next up, we also have an included HDMI cable. as well as a USB Type-C cable that is used to connect the capture card to your PC. Now that you've seen what you're getting inside the box, let's quickly take a look at the required software, which you can download by clicking on the link in the description below, which will redirect you to Elgato's download page. Here you'll have to select your capture card model as well as the operating system you're using, and download and install the suggested software. For testing it out, I connected my Raspberry Pi 4 to the capture card over HDMI. I then plugged the USB cable into my PC and opened the previously downloaded 4K capture utility. And as you can see, the Raspberry Pi screen now appears in the capture section of the app. This feature is called Instant Game View and allows you to instantly view the screen of the device you're recording. The app also allows you to record audio and to take screenshots. Additionally, it has a unique feature that helps you find and sort your videos by saving them under game categories and giving them tags. The videos can then be easily found in the library section of the app. If you're not especially fond of this app, you can still use the HD60S Plus with OBS, Streamlabs and other software. This capture card will also be recognized as a webcam by Microsoft Teams and Zoom, in case you're planning on using it together with a camera. And if you've made it this far, thanks a lot for watching. I hope I helped you out and you enjoyed the video. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to see straight to the point tech related videos and tutorials just like this in the future, you're welcome to subscribe. See you in the next one.